What's up guys, Brandon Burbank here and it's another wonderful episode of Comeback to Success. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the importance of support groups and what support groups do to helping people with mental illness and mental health challenges. And I'm gonna be speaking from my own experiences because I've been able to attend many several different um, support groups locally here in Washington State. Um, and the two support groups that I'm gonna talk about are the Wacom DBSA, which is another opportunity to um, collaborate with other people who are struggling with their mental health. Um, but specifically, Wacom DBSA, here in, in Bellingham at least, is um, Depression Bipolar Support Alliance. And so that, um, that support group helps people who are dealing with depression and bipolar disorder as well. So that's where, um, that's a really great resource to help people who are needing to gain, gain more insight and support and just having that camaraderie from other people to empathize with their tr troubles and challenges, it makes a huge difference. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the NAMI Connections um, support group. I believe it happens every two weeks uh, here in Bellingham. I don't know about where you are located. You'll have to just research the local NAMI affiliate next to where you live. However, the, the, the affiliate, um, the NAMI Connections that I've been going to, uh, there's been lots of tremendous amount of um, perspective that I've gained and, and awareness on mental health because I've been able to hear people from their own viewpoints of how they've been working on through their working through their challenges and their struggles and just learning a lot from their from them who are going through a lot of their challenges and being able to be um, in a safe and open place to talk about your own mental health challenges with other people so d definitely just take a, consider thinking about joining a, a support group there's so many different avenues and, av and places that you could take your um, opportunities to grow, to grind and work on your working on your recovery is an important part of that journey. So why why support groups? Well, first of all, support groups what they do is they're meant to be for a sustainable approach to working on your recovery, working on your stability, and and also making friends with people if, if possible with from others of, of the people that you meet at the support group. Those are all a few of, of the opportunities and the options that you could take towards um, achieving success in your life. And at the end of the day, we all want to be happy. So then focus on one thing at a time and recognizing that um, the support groups can be a huge asset. The second thing that I wanted to really reiterate and talk about is my own, my, 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 my upcoming speaking engagement, sorry for the words there, my speaking engagement that's happening um, in, here locally in Bellingham, Washington um, on August 16th at 6 p.m. at the Wacom Clubhouse. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of talks around mental health, talking about my story and talking about um, a lot of viewpoints to help people so that they can grow and find authentic ways to change their life for the better. I'm also going to be talking about how the clubhouse has been a huge transformative place for me to grow and find sustainability and direction and peace of mind and just a source of support because there's millions of people out there that I know that are struggling with their mental health and they need to hear some of the ideas and the concepts that I can provide. And so um, if you were if you're going to be there, that would be a great opportunity to learn more about somebody who is a success story, who has actually worked through the challenges and been able to um, beat the odds, so to speak, and becoming the best version of myself. So with that being said, I hope that this, visit, this video has resonated well with you. And if you have any further questions, feel free to let me know. And, and I'd love to um, get in contact with you to help you um, more. Thank you very much, guys. And take care. Have a great day.